I'm joined by two of the stars of the surprise smash hit, A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder. Is no one as surprised as we were. But a gentleman always has what it takes. Right now, two top producers are sharing what it takes to create a Broadway success story like this one. Here's Alison Morris. It is called show business. Hal Luftig is at the top of his game, and he knows a thing or two about the business of Broadway. Rio de la Plata. He's produced some of Broadway's biggest hits, among them, Evita, West Side Story, and the revival of Annie Get Your Gun. Sometimes I can go to an investor and say, here's what I'm thinking. Sometimes it's just a couple of songs and, and um, a script, part of the script, and I talk them through it. Other times, it takes a lot more. You have a full cast, and you have um, you know, a three-piece band, and you invite a, a slew of people you think might be interested in investing. Luftig is currently producing Kinky Boots along with Daryl Roth, and the two have a mega hit on their hands. In the case of Kinky Boots, which has just been miraculous on every level and joyous on every level, yeah, 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 yeah. the show has one of the highest premium ticket prices on Broadway. It's grossed $120 million since it started previews in March of 2013, and it shattered all of the box office records at the Al Hirschfeld Theater. Finding the right theater is really an important part of the puzzle. The show recouped its initial $13.5 million investment in just 30 weeks. But that doesn't always happen. I had a show that uh, was doing fairly well, and uh, we had a very nice summer. But then the fall came, which is notoriously tough, tougher time on Broadway. And I looked at my investors, and I looked at the advanced sales moving forward, you know, and I put it kind of to a vote, because it's a tough, tough decision. One thing that can make or break a show, the number of people working on it. That's the biggest cost of when you produce. That, that in a big musical, can be millions of dollars. Everywhere you look on Broadway, it seems like there's another big star, from Maggie Gyllenhaal, Ewan McGregor, and Cynthia Nixon in The Real Thing, to Bradley Cooper in The Elephant Man. So how do shows afford to pay them? Many stars do not receive that big payday until, you know, the show is in profit. Bradley Cooper could probably make a whole lot more money making one film than he can doing three months of The Elephant Man. They're big Hollywood stars that do come to Broadway and, and lend their glory and their talent to Broadway, and, and that's exciting. It drives ticket sales. But they're also stars that are theater stars, and to me, that's as valid, if not more valid. There's nothing, nothing like being on a Broadway stage. It's the, it's the love of the business, it's the idea of being live, it's that, you know, that feedback that the audience gives the actors, and, and I don't think the hook and the lure for these actors is the paycheck. Coming up, Broadway's newest star. I'm not doing this for the dream of like winning an award. Meet Alex Sharp when Broadway Up Close returns.